Hi, Marie here with another sponge video. This time I'll show you a technique with underglaze called ombre. The ombre effect is the shading of colors from light to dark. You can use the same color and go from light to dark or use other colors and go from light to dark. I'm using three different underglazes, the same color but different shades. For this project, you need a sponge, wax resist, clear glaze, your strainer, and some lids, a banding wheel, some underglaze, some shallow containers for your underglaze, a fan brush, a needle tool, a tiny sponge, some stickers, a mixer, water, and a bist mug. Let's get started. There are a few things you need to do before glazing. Clean your bisqueware with a clean, damp sponge. This is a very important part of glazing that you never want to skip. It gets all of the dust off and helps the glaze bond nicely to your piece. Also helps to prevent pinholes and bare spots. Next, apply a little wax resist. I'm using wax on. It makes it much easier to wipe any glaze off the bottom of your mug with a damp sponge. Always use a separate brush. And you only need to apply a little on the bottom. No one wants their pottery to be stuck on their kiln shelf. Now let it dry and we can start sponging. Before you start sponging, you can put some stickers on your mug if you like. I'll be using this sponge and this sponge to get to the hard to reach spot around the handle. And it's very easy to make. Just cut out a piece of sponge in a triangle shape and take a skewer, the pointy end, and push and twist it right into the sponge. And this will get into all the hard to reach spots where you're sponging. First I'll start with Speedball Underglaze Sky Blue, then Medium Blue, then Royal Blue. Put it in a separate container first and mix well. I like using this milk frother. It works really good and gets the underglaze nice and smooth. It should have the consistency of yogurt or sour cream. Once you mix it, then put it in the shallow containers. I'll get a little closer. I'm going to apply the sky blue speedball to the top part of the mug. Remember to always check your underglaze. You don't want it to be applied too thick. You don't want to glob it on. That looks good. 
that's about a third of the way. There, you can see that better. There you go. I'm using Amico 38 Stoneware White Clay. Keep in mind the clay you use, the underglaze color may be different. I'll let this dry and then do the second coat. Now that it's dry, we'll put another coat on. So it's a bit thin. We want it a little thicker than that. Now that the sky blue is dry, I'm going to apply Speedball Medium Blue to the middle and we can start shading. I already mixed the medium blue. Just make sure you check your glaze before you apply it. And I'm not going to go right next to the blue yet. I'm going to go around the middle first, this. Get the feel for the color. I don't want it too dark here because I want it to show the shading. For more information on sponge glazing, you can check out my article. I left a link for you in the description below. Now that I have the middle, I want to shade it upward. So I don't want the sponge to be too full of the medium blue. So lighten it up a bit. Now that it's dry, I'm going to apply another coat, but not up here. I want to leave that shaded look. Now that it's dry, it's time to add the royal blue for the ombre effect. You can give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload another video. Now that the blue is getting thinner, I'm going to work my way upward to give it the shaded look. Now we need our little sponge. Make sure it's damp. Check it. Now dab. Get right in there. This is great for hard to reach places when you're sponging. Now that it's dry, one more coat of Royal Blue. Right there. Now let it dry and I'll remove the stickers. Now that the underglaze is dry, I can remove the stickers. I'll take my needle tool and gently lift them up. Careful not to scrape any underglaze off. Very gently. That's the eye.
S. Now I'm applying Amico Satin Clear Glaze, which I already Wipe off any glaze on the bottom with the damp sponge and final fire in the kiln at cone 5. Here's the finished mug. I love the ombre effect. You can really have some fun with sponge shading. With some stickers, sponges, and underglazes, you can give your pottery a unique look too. I've enjoyed sharing the different ways that you can sponge decorate your pottery. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments section below. Head on over to my other videos to help me keep playing with clay and making these fun videos for you. Keep crafting that beautiful pottery.